Hey guys, so I'm kicking off this get ready with me with my hair. Starting off with a new launch from L'Oreal Paris, the Low Shampoo Cleansing Cream. So the Low Shampoo is a no foam, no friction, no sulfate formula. It's really gentle on the hair and it's so perfect for anyone with coloured or bleached hair as it really helps to resist fading from general washing and also helps to kind of protect fragile and damaged hair types. Because this has oils inside it and it's really nourishing, you literally only need this one product to wash your hair. So it feels a little bit like a shampoo conditioner formula when you put it on. It feels super soft, super silky, and I literally just use this one product. So it's perfect for me whilst I'm away as it really helps to speed up my whole hair washing process. Okay, so I'm gonna let my hair air dry in the sunshine whilst I do my makeup. Starting off with the Armani Prima Moisturizing Lotion. This is really glowy, wonderful moisturizer. It really sinks in beautifully and works so well well with makeup so I really love it for that reason. The Urban Decay Flawless Foundation, I've really been getting into this. I do find that it oxidizes a tad so I'd be careful about that when you're choosing a colour but overall it just gives a really flawless finish to the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy either so I just really enjoyed using this on my holiday and I'm working that in with a beauty blender so it's a little bit more flawless on the skin. To begin concealing I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Peach. Again on the beauty blender I'm just going to work this onto my darker circles under my eyes just to colour correct them a little bit before I go in with the Kat Von D Locket Concealer which is my current favourite. It's really flawless. It's quite a heavy formula without being too cakey but I find that when I work it in with the Beauty Blender it just gives a really bright and hydrated flawless finish underneath the eyes. I also like to work that down the side of the nose and onto my chin just so I'm perfecting everything on my face. And now I'm just going to use the Rodial Setting Powder in the translucent shade just for a bit of powder but to be honest I probably didn't even need it because my skin is so dry right now. Anyway, moving on to the Burberry contour pen. This is like a contour for dummies, as I've mentioned before. I just use a very packed brush. This is the Louise Young L151 brush. I'm just working that in and blending that into my contours. Sides of my temples, and I also like to draw it down the sides of my nose to give myself a bit of a nose contour as well. But it's so quick, it's really easy. It's a lovely stony, tan brown so it's just a great kind of bronze but stone based shade really it works really really nicely and one of my favorites the bronze goddess by Estee Lauder this is just a really great tanned bronzing shade I wanted a really bronze goddess look for this so what better than the bronze goddess palette Right, so this is the new Shimmer Shot from Tom Ford, which I'm totally obsessed with. It's just a gorgeous highlight. I also like to use it with moisturiser, I like to mix it with foundation, but here I'm just using it on the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight brush and working it onto the top of my cheekbones for a bit more of a dewy highlight finish. And then working the L'Oreal True Match highlight, I think this is one in the rose shades. I adore this as a blush and as a highlight, so I'm just using the two together adding the more whiter creamy shades to the top of my cheekbones and a light pink to my apples and my cheeks, it's so pretty. For the eyes, this is the By Terry Ombre Black Star. It's a brightening pinky champagne shade, a bit more pink than the champagne tones, but I just thought it would be a very pretty pink look to go with the pink cheeks as well. And I'm just going back to that same True Match palette now, taking the white shade from this and working this into the very inner corners just to brighten them up. Just using my Shoe Mirror Eyelash Curlers just to pump up my lashes a tad, although they are still quite curled from my LVL Lash Lift, I must say. And one of my absolute favourite mascaras, the L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt Mascara. It is so brilliant this mascara it just really opens up my eyes separates lengthens adds a bit of volume I also find the color doesn't transfer to your under eyes as well which I often suffer with with under eye mascara so that is a bonus so I'm just adding that to my upper and lower lashes with a couple of coats Moving into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate, I'm a tad obsessed with this again. As soon as you buy a new pot of this, it just kind of comes back to life again. So I'm just using my Armani brush just to work that into my brows. Nothing too heavy, I always say that, but you know I like my darker brows. And then I'm just going to set that with the new Tom Ford Brow Gel. I just find this it literally sets your brows all day. They are not moving after you have used this. So I use these two in conjunction and just love that. This is the Kevin Aquan medium lip pencil it's like 
your lips but better look. So I'm just going to fill in my lips and also draw out my lip shape just to kind of make them a little bit more plump and round. And finishing off this whole look with the Gold Obsession L'Oreal Paris in Beige Nude, which is my favourite colour from the range. It's a beautiful beige with an undertone of gold sparkles and just looks dreamy and bronzy and glowy. And that's the whole look. Cue the poses. This is how it all looks. That highlight is so pretty. we have two dress options so we have a keepsake dress in a lavender blue shade it's got a handkerchief hem lots of movement beautiful drapage and I've just paired that with a Bulgari serpentine forever band just to kind of set off the blue tones and the second option is this gorgeous self-portrait dress in the turquoise and dark navy floral lace the Gucci velvet marmont bag and just some Fendi sunglasses and my hair I just tied into a half up, half down ponytail just to keep it off my face. So which is your favourite outfit? Let me know down below in the comments. And in collaboration with L'Oreal Paris, I'm giving away 250 of the low shampoo bottles. So make sure you check the description box for all the details of how to enter that competition. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>